A disgruntled former IT employee compromised the sensitive data of over 1 million patients at a major Pennsylvania healthcare company. What tactics could the IT company have taken to prevent this data leak? Hackers are exploiting a critical flaw in D-Link DIR859 routers gaining full control and stealing passwords through the device's fat lady file. When was the last time you replaced your home router? And finally, Microsoft has revealed that the Midnight Blizzard threat group linked to the infamous Sunburst attacks has compromised an even broader scope of enterprise customers' emails than initially disclosed. You're listening to The Daily Decrypt. A major healthcare company in Pennsylvania named Geisinger experienced a data breach involving a former employee of their IT service provider, Nuance, that affected over 1 million United States patients. So this initial data breach took place in November of last year when the healthcare company Geisinger detected unauthorized access just two days after an employee was terminated. Geisinger immediately notified its IT company Nuance, which subsequently blocked the user from accessing those systems. But hey, that's too little too late. That user should have had their access revoked immediately once they were terminated, right? The compromised data included names, phone numbers, dates of birth, addresses, medical record numbers, race, gender, and even some of, you know, the admission or discharge notes. The good news is that the company is claiming no credit card information, bank account numbers, or social security numbers were compromised. That's great. Both the healthcare company and the IT company are still investigating and uncovering more and more details, but they did inform law enforcement, which led to this former employee's arrest and charges pending. If you're in or around the Pennsylvania area, Geisinger is advising the affected individuals to review their statements and notify their health insurance immediately if they notice unfamiliar entries. And it's also important to note that if your information was leaked, you're not being personally targeted. This attack was done by a disgruntled ex-employee of an IT service provider for the healthcare company. And he is likely just trying to smear the name of his former company or of this healthcare provider. And so hopefully this successful attack was enough and that information wasn't leaked on the dark web. Because as far as I'm concerned, this IT company has had its reputation smeared, right? It allows former employees access to their customers' networks. Like access should be revoked immediately and automatically. It shouldn't require manual intervention, but so many companies still require an IT personnel to review and revoke access manually. Remember, automation is the key to a successful defense. The more you can automate, the more secure you will be. So this really should have looked like upon notification of termination, right? Not even when the termination goes into effect. When they're notified of termination, you must revoke all access, maybe even before, because how long does it take to plant a back door or grab a USB stick and pull some data? Minutes, seconds, minutes at most. And this should be done at the click of a button, like initiate termination process should revoke all access for this user. If that had been done, this would have been a non-issue. This couldn't have happened. And it's really embarrassing for an IT company to have let this happen. How does your IT department or outsourced company handle terminated employees? Please let us know in the comments. This next story is less about the news and is more of a warning or informational session about the life cycle of home routers. Hackers are actively exploiting a severe vulnerability in D-Link DIR859 Wi-Fi routers, which they're using to collect sensitive account information, including user passwords. This flaw has a CVSS score of 9.8 out of 10, which is very severe and is classified as a path traversal vulnerability located in the fatlady.php file, affecting all firmware versions of the router. It will allow attackers to leak session data and gain full control of the device via the admin panel, which is very severe for many reasons, but the admin panel can change the name of your Wi-Fi, it can change the password, but most importantly, it can snoop on whatever you do because whatever traffic isn't end-to-end -end encrypted is visible in plain text at the router. But what's so interesting about this is that this device, this router, has reached its end of life. So the company who makes it D-Link is not issuing any more security patches. They're done, they're focusing on the newer, higher tech routers that they've released in the past few years. But given the severity of this vulnerability, they did decide 
to issue this warning to their customers, but they will not be patching this. So this is forever vulnerable. And so I went to Amazon and I could actually find this router still for purchase, which is very interesting. And it doesn't look like a crappy 90s gateway that you might have seen a long time ago. It's not like an old looking router. It's like a pretty sleek looking router. It's got the antennas. It's like black with a polished finish. It looks relatively new. And I know these things can be expensive. And if you were smart enough to stop renting one from your ISP, your goal of buying one was to save money. So it's going to suck, but you need to go out there and buy a new Wi-Fi router. If you are using this router, please go check. If you're using any D-Link router, go ahead and check. And you want recommendations for a new router, feel free to leave a comment on YouTube or shoot us a DM on Instagram. And we'll be happy to provide some very secure recommendations. And this final piece of news involves Microsoft essentially disclosing additional compromises from their little January cyber attack on their senior executives. All right. So they're informing enterprise customers about a password spray campaign by the state linked Midnight Blizzard threat group, which has compromised email accounts. This group is linked to the 2020 sunburst attacks and also known as Nobelium which has been active since November of 2023. They essentially used stolen information from senior Microsoft executives to hack customer accounts. These new notifications are part of a series of ongoing disclosures since the hacks were first discovered in January. Midnight Blizzard exploited a legacy non-production test tenant account through password spray attacks. And since these new notifications from Microsoft, some of the customers are expressing a lot of concerns on social media, fearing that they're being fished or fearing that they're being fished with the use of their compromised email accounts. But Microsoft is assuring them by providing detailed information about the compromised email correspondence. So make sure to check out the link in our show notes for more information on that. And just make sure you're following the basic security principles, especially with your Microsoft account, right? Enable multi-factor authentication, use a strong, unique password and store it in a password manager. So it makes logging in and changing that password easier. This has been The Daily Decrypt. If you found your key to unlocking the digital domain, show your support with a rating on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. It truly helps us stand at the frontier of cyber news. Don't forget to connect on Instagram or catch our episodes on YouTube. Until next time, keep your data safe and your curiosity alive. <laughs>